Um, I, I, your word in Jovic is you must be, we must always be careful of uh, help her from Lesotho. Because if you are a woman married, she will make lishi lishi for your husband in the morning. But <laughs> she will be on some tip like. <laughs> yeah, lady. Hi, this is a good question. Uh huh. Kim a messy. Yes. So she will ask her, what kind of girl is she going to do? From the moment this ad started, this many videos have been uploaded to YouTube. You want to stand out? Then you need the best music for your videos. Get unlimited access to Artlist's complete music catalog with amazing new music added daily that's pre-checked for monetization. It doesn't matter what kind of creator you are or how big your channel is. With Artlist, you're free to create. Start now and stand out. Hinda, Barimene, welcome to a podcast and chill Africa Day edition. Uh, Len Maleko is here. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how else I can say Hinda in all the other African languages. I don't think I can. How many of them are, how many of them are there though? Jeez, that's a good question. I'm so it's a shitload, man. Because I think that Nigeria alone has over probably like three. Mm. Wrong. There's a South African then. Anyway, uh, all right. So yeah. So, uh, so it was. It was your. Henda Dumela. Yeah. So I'm saying it was your idea to do the show. What's coming up? What are we doing? What are we getting into? So basically, what we're doing is we're just going to take a trip around the continent, uh, speak to a couple of folks in different countries in celebration of Africa Day. Uh, because yeah, man, we won. So let's celebrate each other. Take trips. Just entice the chillers to also want to go to other countries on the continent if you haven't been and if you have been what has been your favorite country to visit on the continent mm. and what is on your to-do list once the lockdown is done so it'll be interesting where you want to go and where you've been and which has been your favorite uh, country to visit king mona you shopping for a new wife <laughs> no 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 <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, but uh, Africa is great, man. I've been to Nigeria, Angola, Mozambique, and they're all so amazing, beautiful. Like, you know, it takes getting out of the country to appreciate what we have, but also appreciate other countries. Like Angola was amazing. Oh, Angola was beautiful. Dog. Eh. Uh, I know, like, in, in the one country that I've got, for more to visit like hectically and it's just around the corner shipping is namibia i got sold on namibia when i watched an episode of top gear and but jeremy and them were going on the desert and whatnot and oh yes i remember that episode yes. yes yeah so it's it's it, it's so sad that sometimes we actually so we actually see uh the continent through the eyes of those who are not on the mm, continent yeah, for yeah. us to take for us to start appreciating it but this is a start, I mean, for us to go around uh, the continent saying what's up to continental peeps, uh, just to hear how things are, what are the vibes where they are type thing. You're reminding me of Precious Coffee. Remember Precious Coffee? She did a show similar to this, remember? Yeah, uh, Precious Africa. Yeah. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes. Do you hey, what work, Precious? Did, you get, did you to work with her? Yeah, when I got fired, why she was my co-host. Yes, 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 I remember. All right, uh, it's time to chat to my sister. What, what is it? What's I nai? Yes, what's a nai? What's a nai representing Zim? What does that mean? What's a nai? What's a nai means live in harmony with each other. It's, it's actually a complete sentence and an instruction to whoever is being talked to. Mm -hmm. oh. mm, and how's lockdown in Zim at the moment? I don't know, like, I feel like um, my opinion of it might be a little bit biased because 
I was on my own self lockdown before the lockdown started. Oh, okay. And so I just kind of like got into it. And so I've enjoyed it and I've like made a lot of progress on some work that I'm working on. But in different places, there are different stories. Um, like people who, who have challenges um, with, uh, with an income during the lockdown have a problem, obviously, because they can't afford to be on lockdown. And then there are also some people who are finding uh, peace and, and like productivity during this time as well. So it's like mixed feelings towards it. So, like, uh, you guys as a country, because obviously different countries have been sort of, like, uh, going on about this period of time uh, Mm -hmm. differently. Um, Mm -hmm. Just generally, how has it impacted you guys and versus all the other countries on the continent? Um, So, that's, like, a heavy opinion you're asking me to share because then I'm speaking for so many people and... I, I'm one of those people that just don't believe in a singular opinion representing everyone. So in any response, I'd still tell you that, like I'd give you a few responses that would represent uh, a few of the communities that I'm in touch with. So I would say the impact in some places, um, and I'll, I'll speak about maybe religious people. A lot of religious people are coming out more and talking about um, the importance of spirituality because uh, everything in the physical is is has shifted from from what they have been able to scientifically calculate before, and then you have some people who have um, uh, like let's say uh, feminist movements who've been screaming and asking for attention for certain problems now saying look this is what it feels like to have a problem on our hands. Now that we have a problem that we share together, maybe you understand what it's like when we're talking about issues to do with gender-based violence uh, and how urgent it is for us to deal with such issues. So you find that, like, I mean, whatever opinion I would give you about how people are responding to it would have to be particularly uh, in relation to a certain group of people or a certain idea. And then I can say, oh, I've heard people say this or that. So maybe I'll throw the the question back at you and say from the top of your head, what, what, what area of life are you interested in hearing about? more at this point uh, alcohol if you can tell us the alcohol situation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah alcohol is pretty interesting actually because um i think at some point there was a ban uh which didn't last long because it was reversed very quickly i only saw a, uh, i mean i only learned about it when it was actually being reversed that there had been a ban so there were a lot of memes going around about how you know, it won't be it won't be possible to have a 21 day. It was at this point a 21 day lockdown. It won't be possible to survive 21 days without alcohol. Um, and uh, yeah, like when when it was lifted, people celebrated. But Zimbabwe is a lot like South Africa in terms of the humor around serious or unserious issues alike. So there was a lot of humor around it, and people are still drinking. And I came across something online where uh, one of uh, one socialite in Zimbabwe had uh, invited people to share, to confess, like to, like confessions uh, of, I don't know, just like confessions, random confessions. And a lot of stories that people were sharing with the socialite were to do with how they are breaking um, the rules of the lockdown. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and, and alcohol was involved in many of these uh, situations. So it was quite interesting to find that people are afraid of this pandemic or like this uh, virus, but they're not afraid to the point of resisting alcohol and alcohol related behaviors and things like that. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to ask you who's uh, the biggest rapper in Zim? Whoa, man, Zim is a small country, and uh, and and like, word's gonna go around. <laughs> what do <laughs> you mean? What I think, like, I don't know. I feel like rap, hip hop, and rap is such a sensitive genre. Okay, but who's uh, the biggest? Numbers don't lie. If I pick, 
Well, so Nadia. so when we're talking big, so you're talking numbers. I don't take numbers. Yeah. Uh, I'm not a big hip hop head, local hip hop head maybe. Um, but right now, who I have no idea actually. You're kidding me! I know. Know what name? I mean, I know them. I just don't know who's big. You know, because what is big? I'm sorry, you're speaking to a very difficult person today <laughs> who just doesn't like. <laughs> I'm a social scientist and I will never, I will never like put a one size fits all on, on a big community. So I don't know. I'll have to go with the strongest upcoming is, is what I can give you. Okay. Um, Who's that? And that's in my opinion. Um, his name is, um, man, the beatbox guy. Mm. Pro Beats. His name is Pro Beats. Pro so Beats. Pro Beats is a, yeah, Pro Beats is a beatboxer, and I know he's recently dropped some um, an album, yeah. uh, which I am still getting to know. Yeah. I know uh, if I'm going to talk about uh, artists who are already known, then I'm going to go with um, Ta- uh, Ten Diamond. Ten Diamond. I'm gonna go, yes, I'm going to go with Ten Diamond and uh, Takura. 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 Yeah, Takura is a personal favorite because he he he's real, you know, like I relate with with the music that he he pushes, you know, like I, I feel like I'm a character in the song. So I like All right. that. All right. Uh one's at nine. Thank you so much for joining us on the podcast today, man. Really enjoyed it. And when we come to Zim, are you gonna take care of us? I can take care of you if I come to South Africa. Will you? Will you have my bag? Of course, definitely. So, so there we have it. There yeah, we no. We have it. We'll make sure even alcohol is sold when you get here. So we got to. <laughs> How's the alcohol situation over there? Ah, it's horrible, terrible. The pits. Don't talk about. We don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah well it's been great being on your podcast as well and i look forward to seeing it and make sure you subscribe no one's there, and do start that podcast because you have nice one yeah. and you and i can't wait to check out yours because you're saying off air that you want to start your own podcast right yes so i have a show called the afro playlist which which was um like a physical show and now we're going digital and one of the ways we're doing that is in a podcast so i will share it with you hopefully come back and talk about it awesome thank you so much that's one's and i representing zim uh we're about to go to malawi chief what do you know about malawi nothing actually i'm i think i'm very ignorant when it comes to the african continent i'll be the first to admit Mm -hmm. um i i i I, i'm very south african boxed it's 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 and i think i think it's a bad thing um i'm the first to call myself out on that ruben how are you my brother all right, how are you doing, man? Good, man. What time is it in Malawi right now? Same time, 16 past two. Oh, okay, cool. You look like a rapper, dog. You look like Rick Ross, man. <laughs> Just the facial hair, bro. <laughs> Rick I'm Ross and a, bit of, <laughs> and a bit of Casper in your vest as well. Ah, bro. You know, I've been hearing that too much of late, eh? <laughs> and the worst part, I never thought Casper was good looking, bro. So now when I keep hearing it, like I can't... <laughs> Is he is he is he big that side in Malawi? Yeah, dude, he he did a show here almost seven years ago. He, like Doc Shebeleza, Puma Game Time, he was already popping that time. So everybody ah. knows Casper. Wow, man, who else is big that side? Uh, in terms of essay artists, yeah, bro, everyone like uh, Malawi just catches whatever wave uh, essays on. So obviously, people love AK as well. Uh, he was here last year, I think. Uh, yeah. That was quite quite well received but right now everyone's playing uh, i'm a piano you you're know, kidding yeah. bro i'm telling you bro it's everywhere it's everywhere so um damn i'm actually forgetting who, who are the guys who've been pushing that i'm a piano movement i'm not playing uh, myself but Kabza and maporisa Kabza and maporisa yeah scorpion kings yeah, yeah yeah everyone's everyone's jamming to that so 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 tell me like describe to me a night out in malawi like when you go to the club what music are you hearing what's going down there is it just like i say it's just like essay, basically, man. Um, how can I how can I best describe it? A night out in Malawi. It depends where you're going. Uh, so let me put it to you this way: the two I'm gonna get in trouble for this. The two big <laughs> cities in Malawi are Lilongwe and Blanta. So Lilongwe is the capital city. Uh, Blanta is like it's like the commercial hub, 
basically. So it's kind of, uh, yeah, so it's, that's how I put it. So I don't know about the long, we'll call it L's here, but in terms of Blanta, you go, like for example, today, uh, there's a big thing called Soul Food Sunday. So today we'll have like live band, live performances. That happens on Sunday, basically L's and, and Blanta. So it'll be live, live band until about six. And then for those people that, you know, are up for it, it goes to like old school hip hop until like, until, until. On a usual night, it'll be um, a piano, most places, and then maybe some, you know, some hip hop a bit later, some Afro beats as well mixed in. But some places play more of other things than others, you know what I mean? So, but like, piano basically is the, is the big thing that you expect almost everywhere. If you're going out between eight and midnight, that's basically what you're going to be hearing. I've got to place myself. We do mainly like R&B, uh, hip hop vibes. We're just trying to be a bit different. So that's, that's so crazy, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. SA Lights in terms of music right now. Whatever's popping in SA, you pretty much it, it finds its way here so quick now. So quick. Yeah, what did you want to say? In terms of competition, uh, and I'm not even going to call it competition, it's, I'm just using the word for a lack of a better word. Uh, locally, uh, like your rappers there, uh, the, 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 the music that's popping that side, what is the thing to listen to when you go out on a night type of thing well before the lockdown What's, obviously before the lockdown what is the thing the thing right now is i'm a piano bro like it took over very quickly yeah I'm haven't you been now. listening Munna? <laughs> no i'm asking uh, no, 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 <laughs> i don't know if i wasn't clear <laughs> <laughs> so so uh, no what i'm asking is if you go to blend tire is there like a kabza in blend tire type of person or, or like local scene Yes, your local scene. Oh, I hear, you. I hear you are the local scene, bro. It's quite, it's quite interesting. Quite interesting. The the artists here, they've not yet reached the stage. In my in my humble opinion, there are few artists that have reached a stage where they cross pollinate across every type of uh, demographic. So there'll be some people who are big in certain, like I'd say, townships. Like mm. if, if you bring this person there like there's some names i don't know but if they're showing up at a certain venue the venue will be completely packed but i have no idea who they are they've got their own kind of movement uh or whatever in terms of like hip-hop right now to be honest with you there's these guys called uh, the king's rifles and they're like proper hip-hop like they don't they're not doing like screw screw or whatever and for i mean maybe for because I'm 29, so the people in my age range, 25 to like early 30s, they seem to be really liking their music and they've been doing some movements um, in Blanta and in Owls. But I don't think there's anyone who like, when you go out, you're going to be like, yo, we're playing this guy from the local scene. It's just, it's, it's very divided, I would say. No, no one's really managed to capture everyone right now. You know what I'm saying? There's a, because... I'm just gonna check the name of this dude on my phone because I've got I, I got his song. There's this one guy. Um, he did a song with. Uh, t- it's called Tender. Tender, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if you know it. No, 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 never heard of it. Never heard of it. Uh, he did it with that guy who that Zagadat dude, Mr. Zagat. Easy. Oh, Mr. Easy, yeah. yes, yes, yeah, I know Mr. Easy. Yeah, Mr. Easy. yeah George. George uh, Karakusha, he did, he did a jam with Mr. Easy just now. Mm. And, but like, everyone was doing the challenge. So on social media, it was big, like for the last three weeks. So there's like Malawi Twitter. Talk. Yeah, Twitter Malawi is what we call it. Twitter Malawi. It's, it's an interesting place. But yeah, everyone was doing the cover for that song. Um, but I've not heard it out. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, that's yeah. what I mean. I, he's kind of taken over the social media He's taking over the Twitter fans, basically. He's got Twitter fans right now. Let, let, let's talk about the mummies, dog. How are the mummies in Malawi, bro? Mummy games are right, bro. We don't yeah. have as many yellow bones here, but... <laughs> <laughs> hey, have, you, have you ever been to SA? Ah, uh, bro, I, I was in SA for a long time. I did my, my undergrad in SA. Then I worked in SA for three years before I came back. So, so, so compare the, the SA women and Malawian women. I can't do that. <laughs> you can be biased, it's fine. Huh? You can be biased, it's okay. Nah, nah, nah. They're both, you know, they're both dope. They're both dope. But the, but the SA Mommy game is, is, is pretty strong. Bro. Do Malawian girls like money as well? Every woman loves money. Every woman likes money, but I think the game in SA is on a different level, bro. Because I was in Joburg for like three years, and that, that's when I saw life. I saw that if you have money, then 
Oh, they drained you. They, they drained you. That's why you had to go home. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't drain you, bro. But you know, it was time to come home. It was time to come home. But yeah, dude, Josie, Josie was another, was another, was another, was another chat in terms of like money and stuff. But everybody, every, every, every place will have mummies that like money. Not all mummies like money, but every place will have it. And I just think there's levels to it. You know, in Malawi, you don't have to, you don't have to buy a bottle as soon as you walk into the club for mummy to think you've got cash. You know what I mean? If you just get around, it, it, it can be considered quite, quite a strong play. You know, whilst in Josie, if you don't have a bottle dropping from the ceiling, you're not the dude. <laughs> You want the sparkles, bro. You don't even have sparkles here. Uh, you get a bottle, it's very low key. It's very low key. People people only know because they see the bottle. There's no parade or whatever. Ah. So you mentioned that you obviously were in Joburg, you studied here, worked here for some time. Um upon mentioning to peeps in Joburg that yo, I'm Ruben, I'm from Malawi. Mm. What, what, what what common misconceptions did you kind of get from whether the people were from other parts of the continent or other parts of the world, including South Africa? Like, what like common misconceptions? Uh, the one common misconception which I heard a lot was that we're very well known for Muti this side. <laughs> talked about apparently people in Limpopo raised the Muti from Malawi or something. <laughs> Maybe apparently, because people from if, if 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 people the from you can, reach your mood, it must be like next level. Apparently, I don't know. <laughs> the two of you can confirm because uh, Mac is from Limpopo and you are in Malawi, so it's like Limpopo and Malawi in one call. You know? What do you miss about SA? I miss the life, bro. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I know you guys know how to bottles. Huh? The hey, the, the yeah, mummies yeah. in the bottles. Yeah, I've got a girl, so I can't say how much I miss it. But yeah, of course, you know, sometimes you have flashbacks. It's dope. <laughs> wow. Hey, Ruben, thank you so much for joining us, man. I definitely want to come to Malawi after speaking to you, man. You have to, bro. It's dope. It's dope. Uh, we, 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 we have that, that... The one unique thing about Malawi that we do have is Lake Malawi, which I think I have to shout out before I go. It's basically... It's a mind trip because we're a landlocked country, but we basically have, like waterfront beachfront items going on because the lake is like a third of the it's a third of the country so when you go to the lake it doesn't look like a lake it looks like the ocean you know what i mean like a proper beach and everything so yeah that's are there a lot of white people that side bro not as much as sa but yeah we have we have like you, you will see white people every day you know what i'm saying like you're not gonna you're not going to walk around and not see white people but i think just the the number of people because obviously everyone was colonized i know in sa they kind of stuck around um, yeah we're waiting for them to leave <laughs> yeah that's a different chat uh but the way things happened with us came and then they left but then people still came around and people still visit you know what i mean there's malawi gold you can google that a lot of people come to try that stuff if you're into it um so yeah our white people here yeah. like it's not not as much like when i was in essay like it was like a much you know you walk around and everywhere it's like whoa it's yeah. more white people here yeah, than what i'm used to <laughs> seems like len is gone man but thank you so much bro that was really dope man all right thanks for having me bro guys, pleasure uh, man keep it easy. all right take yes. care bro sweet yeah All right, so that was Ruben representing Malawi. Now we are going to which country we're we going to now? Kenya. We're going to Kenya. Hello. Hey. Hey, how are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? Great, man. So, you, so you still haven't sorted out your camera? Oh, there you are. <laughs> you know, you told me to give you a few minutes, so I, I put it on. Thank you for waiting, man. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Great, man. So first, let's start with, um, are you guys in lockdown, quarantining? What's going on in your country? Uh, we are in quarantine. Uh, by We're the way, you, you're from Kenya, right? Yeah. Okay. My name is Hamis from Kenya. H- Hamis. 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 Like, yeah. <laughs> There's a guy I, I once worked with at MTV, and he did a lot of shows in Kenya. He said the most beautiful woman in africa in kenya amen brother yeah <laughs> i cannot repeat that <laughs> beauty is all around inside and out ne. yeah <laughs> Who's, who would you say is the the hottest lady in kenya like the the most famous the most beautiful 
Well, I guess it depends on the setting. Mm. Yeah, like if it's a celebrity who is uh, maybe in movies or in music, is it gospel music, is it secular music? So it's kind of a vague question. Okay, right now, <laughs> top of your head, who's the most famous lady in Kenya? Uh, top of my head, because I know her, is a lady called Kambua. She does Kambu. gospel music. Okay, Kambua, is she on Instagram? Let me search her. Yeah. <laughs> I know her, that's why I say her. So okay, <laughs> okay cool. Her. Uh, yeah. Give me an Instagram name. Let me check. Uh, what's her Instagram name? Just look for Kambua. You'll find her. How do you spell it? A A M B U A. Whoa. A M K A K A. Yeah. M B U A. M B U A. U A. Kambua Muzuki. Yes. Okay. She's very fine. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> oh that? wow oh wow you're right <laughs> no she's a nice lady even oh look Monday. at her okay. yeah she looks like um uh, a, a proper woman a proper lady <laughs> i don't know what that means and neither do i but yeah <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that is. Yeah, so, t- so tell us uh, more about yourself. What do you do out there? Have you been to SA? What do you think of SA? I haven't been to SA. I was actually supposed to go this year in March with my friends. I have a friend who lives in Zimbabwe and another friend from Kenya. So we had planned on going in March. But then she hit the fun and that didn't happen. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sorry for using that word. Yeah, but uh, I think it's cool from what I see. I, I love Rhythm City. Do you watch Rhythm City? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I've that's, always wondered if, if South Africans watch it as much as we do. <laughs> For <laughs> real? <laughs> yeah, like, yes. <laughs> Are you watching it via DSTV or what? Or ETV or what? ETV, what is ETV through ETV. DSTV. <laughs> oh, through DSTV. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Who's your favorite character in Rhythm City? I used to love Gennaro, but they killed him. <laughs> so <laughs> I have no idea who you're talking about. <laughs> no, there's some white dude. I think he used to be English, then he moved to South Africa, then he made it in film, I guess. So yeah. he was really cool, but they killed him. So now I'm looking for someone else. But then the other day, I sat down and I was like, gosh, I've watched this show for so long. I think if I've watched it a whole month of my life, like 24 hours for a month. So yeah. I was like, I'm going to stop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stop. <laughs> Do you know, I'm sure you've learned some um, South African uh, words or languages for, just from watching that show. Yeah, I'm trying to remember, hey. Yeah. Let me just give you some time. I remember, I, I actually do know a couple of words. Because, yeah. man, yeah. I've watched that thing since 2010. Gee! <laughs> Going on your 10 year anniversary. <laughs> you know, I should know that party. <laughs> yeah. And what do you do in Kenya? What do you do? Um... Um, I'm a doctor. Oh, you're a doctor. Yeah, specialized in public health. So mm-hmm. um, I do a lot of public health work right now in this COVID era. We are doing a lot of, um, uh, what do you call it? Contact tracing, looking for guys who are sick. How does and that procedure is- work actually? Because I, I saw on CNN, they're trying to do that in America, but America is so big. It's a nightmare. I know. Mm. It is. I think they are past that because their numbers are so big and heavy. Um, you know, for us, okay, yeah, we just hit the 1,000. South Africa is at what number now? I don't know. Yeah, I yeah. stopped following the COVID-19. I know, it eh? me, yeah. <laughs> I know. We've been, we've been following it for quite a while. So we just hit the 1,000. We are like 1,100. Yeah. And uh, it's easier because the numbers are not so many. So like you get someone who, get, who tests positive. The communities are very vigilant. If someone comes in, because they've like locked some areas mm. that are outside Nairobi. So if someone comes in from Nairobi, then they, they call. Then we have to go look for that person. And if they test positive, then we have to look for their contacts, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. 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 And, and, and mm. 
How has it been um, in terms of restrictions in Kenya? Are you guys allowed to go out or are you still on lockdown? Yeah, I think for us it's not so bad. Okay, they, they have barriers. There are barriers um, around, we call it Nairobi metropolitan area. So if you can't go past that barrier to the other side of Kenya, like to other towns in Kenya. So that's the only restrictions that we have. But we also have curfews. You can't go out after seven. So, man, if you're caught in traffic between six and seven, just pray to your God because it's hell. Wow. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Everyone is like trying to get home before seven. Like the number of people who've been killed or accidents and stuff are just crazy. Mm. Yeah. Wow. And in terms of, I know you watch Rhythm City. In terms of music, who do you know from this side? Oh, not from Rhythm City, but there's this chick who sings Swahili. So uh, yes, I think she she lived in in, in East Africa or something. Uh, what what's her name? What's Shasha. Her name? No. Uh, oh gosh, why am I forgetting? Like her chorus has Swahili words. Uh. But you see the 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 beat is the South South African. You know the, <laughs> the I, first beat. I gotta know who you're talking about. Do you have the song no. in your phone somewhere? Uh, you know, I can hear the song in my head, but yeah. I can't remember the name of that song. Uh, is, it an, is it a house song? Are we talking? Yes, about? it's house. It's house. It's house. Yes. Okay, let me yes. name all the house vocalists I know. Msaki? Amifaku? <laughs> Amifaku? No. no. Uh, shit, that's all I know. Show my Josie. It's, it's a jig. Yes. Show my Josie. Yes. Oh. <laughs> hey, thanks, Len. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be yeah. all night. <laughs> yeah, I like that. And house music is so cool. Like it's so easy to dance to, and it just makes you happy. And then I love the way you guys dance. Like even the 70, 90 year old dude is just, you know, <laughs> yeah. getting down. <laughs> I his his network is horrible. But I think what I he's know. trying to yeah, what he's trying to ask what he's trying to ask is like if I come to Kenya, where would you take me? It depends on what you like. What do you like? I like bums and good times. Oh, gosh. Like, <laughs> and then I'll just drop you in the middle of Nairobi. and just Nairobi? <laughs> <laughs> I'll drop you in the middle of the central business district. <laughs> and I just leave you there. <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding, man. I'm kidding. Uh, where, where do you normally frequent? Me? Yeah, I'm. I'm yeah. a weirdo, so I prefer the out of Nairobi kind of experience. Oh, yeah. okay. Also, yeah. when you're out of Nairobi, it's different. Yeah, it's more laid back. It's more. It's where you go to to relax because Nairobi can be fast, fast and furious, more like so. Naivasha, Mombasa, such places. And, and, and when you come. When it comes mm. to food, what do you guys uh, what do you guys like? What's your traditional Kenyan food? Ugali. U- Ugali. Ugali. Yes. What, what is that? It's what? like maize maize meal. Should I call it maize meal? Like ground maize. Mm-hmm. Then you mix it with water and then, then then mash it and make it into this big lump of white heavy gook that you eat with meat, nyama choma and stuff. <laughs> nyama choma is roasted meat. Brain. That's- that sounds like poverty. Well, <laughs> oh God, <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> it, it, it is good. <laughs> it is All right, good. I, I see it here. Ugali corn fufu. Fufu is is Nigerian, isn't it? Oh, is that Nigeria? I just searched Ugali. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like corn fufu, but for the Nigerian type, it's it's a bit. Uh, Smudgy, like sticky. It but looks like um, in essay, baby. What's that thing that you like? The bread that we had yesterday. Dumpling. dumpling. It looks like dumpling. No, it's not dumpling. Cause dumpling is like flour. This other flour for baking, right? Yeah. Then you boil it, but this one is like corn flour. Mm. Then you boil it and mash it. Then you uh. eat it with bread, like barbecue meat and stuff. Oh, that sounds nice, mm. though. It does. It's not poverty, man. 
<laughs> you asked for the traditional food. That's it. <laughs> Uh, Hermes, thank you. I must pronouncing it right. Hermes. Yes. Hermes. Yeah. Yeah. Hermes, yeah. thank you so much for joining. And when you do decide to come to us, say come through, and I'll make sure that I take you to Rhythm City because I know you. Yeah, right. please. Is it in KZN? No, 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 no. I think it's in it's it's in Joburg. I think they have a studio. <laughs> I could be wrong, but I think most of the <laughs> most of our soapies are shot in Joburg, so I'm sure there's a studio around here somewhere where I can. Yeah, see I, yeah. I'll holler yeah. when I come. Probably next day I should come because it didn't happen this year. There we go. Hello. Hey. Hi. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm great, man. Ah, oh, when are you not even another country? You are next door. You're just here. I mean, when I'm in a fail, I literally back room, back room, back room. The border. <laughs> <laughs> you were saying, Len? Uh, I, I, I got thrown off. Oh yes, I was saying. Remember, we almost were supposed to go to Lesotho last year in December. Oh yes, we're looking forward to it, man. So how come you guys didn't come through? Do you? Which area were we supposed to go to? I just don't remember. I think you know the details. Uh, we're, we're going to the Black Coffee thing, the Africa's Not a Jungle uh, event. Woo-hoo! Okay, I missed that. Apparently, that was, that was all sorts of lit. What do you guys in the Sutu think of, like, South Africans? Oh, wow, okay. Um, uh, be honest, have... be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, so I think in general, we think that South Africans are very opinionated, you know? Okay. You I guys, feel like you're putting it mildly, but okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. You guys are very opinionated. You guys literally, like, and you know, I admire that. <laughs> nah. I admire that. I admire you guys own up to your ish. You guys own up to your words and you stick it through, you know? Basotro people, like Basotro will, how can I say this? Like you said, we make things mild. Han totally hot. Katadiza dibe mildi. lemon and hebu. You know? Ah, uh-uh. with South Africans, if it's hot, it's hot. A spade is a spade, you know? So. Yeah, that's 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 our opinion of you guys. Do you guys think we're arrogant and full of ourselves? Yeah, hey. <laughs> yeah, Lena Lebo arrogant and to a certain extent, not this is what I say. I always say if you're arrogant, be arrogant, own up to it. It's fine, it's okay, you know. But you need to know how to sort of use it to your own advantage. There are some characters that just don't know how to use it to their own advantage and it just gets out of control. That's where the problem is. Mm, and then are the slay queens that side? Manji! Funukwast! Um, hey, but the slay queen, there's slay queens every, everywhere. But tell me your definition of a slay queen. What's a slay queen? I, I, I hate that question, bro. I don't even know how to answer that question. But you brought it up, you, you brought it up, um, you know. It's somebody who slays. Yeah. It's somebody who slays. They do. In whatever they do. There we go. Okay. Okay, so... Mara, when I was a queen, I was a queen. Nah. You know what? Nah, I'm not even going to be offended. Because, nah. I'm not going to be offended. Nah, God made me to like nice things because... I'm, I'm made for nice things. Yeah. Well, but uh, has to be like a slay queen. No, I just slay queen. It's just that he won't have more. And he won't have more money for that. Mm, so yes. what, what type of guys are you into? What's my 
an income bracket? What does it have to be to date a, a girl like you? Oh my God. Dude, I was never ready for these type of questions. <laughs> eh? To be honest, um, to be honest, how can I say this without being, as long as you can, you know, let me say this, as long as you, you can look clean and hygienic and you can provide for yourself, then it's fine. Now, get like born. now I've always, you know, um, had my own bag. For oh, a long time. What, what so, bag is so, this? What do you mean, nugget like born? It's like born a guy. They're like, hi, sir, I'm like, you born. So, so, you know, like, things like, like income and things like that, they're not really important to me as such, but because I always feel like other traits are important. Things like, do you know how to um your character do you know how to communicate with the opposite sex you know how to communicate with other people as well do you you know how do you how do you treat your your mom you know do you treat her with respect you treat your female friends with respect you know um how do you act when you're around your boys um we'll talk about things like credit and you know a bit later when we're sort of like a little comfortable with each other. But if I see that maybe let's say your credit is kind of bad, but you have an intention of actually rectifying the situation, then you have a chance. Who's the most but famous guy you, you've that. dated? Sorry? Who's the most famous guy you've dated? I have In Lesotho or just generally? <laughs> let's start in Lesotho. <laughs> No, I mean, have a here, like at home, there's no such thing as fame. That's so small, <laughs> we all need each other. <laughs> there's no such thing as fame here. <laughs> we all need So are each you other. saying somebody like, so there's, there's, there's a, the, a rap, uh, very popular in, in, in SA, that uh, this is he not like the AK Casper in the sort of type vibes in the um yeah i could you could say that he is in that caliber you know but guys the world is so small is there Lesotho twitter popular places especially during the festival oh is that a whatsapp group sorry it's a whatsapp group which i'm part of actually you kidding lynn (laughs) i am (laughs) no i asked if there's like Lesotho twitter or is it just a WhatsApp group? Oh my gosh, guys, there is Lesotho Twitter. All three of them. Yeah. For your information. Yeah. It's like uh, our own little Twitter saga going on there. But yeah, it exists. Yeah. Don't you get tired of everybody? Question. Oh, yeah, go ahead, Lynn. Um, you know, there's this misconception, I don't know if it's a misconception or, or it's a joke that's normally made, um, about, I don't know if you know it, the whole notion, yeah, that is that really true? So, so this is how the whole thing goes. Um, a lot of, um, a, a, a word in Jovic is you must be, we must always be careful of uh, helper from Lesotho because if you are a woman you married, she will make leshi leshi for your husband in the morning, but <laughs> she will be on some trip like. <laughs> yeah, lady. Hi, this is a good question. Uh huh. Come on, Messi. Yes. So she will ask her. <laughs> <laughs> okay okay so is that you about what you find please find your question so that i want to understand clear of what i'm answering <laughs> okay <laughs> i'm listening my guy will stop laughing but um i want to go and say hurry there's a notion yeah hurry um 
listen to women can basically take your man at any given time. Basically, that's uh-huh. what it boils down to. To uh-huh. a point whereby, what uh-huh. to the husband of the woman, like, and the woman is like, she 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 is like, Okay, so let me sort of clear it out. Well, na ka ka tboya. Oh, by the way, how come we can't see you? Ah, he's the ghost guy for the day. Okay, cool. All right, no, that's fine. Um, why do you want to so, see him? But kala ka yah. Nah, nah, I didn't say, say that. Magee, those were your words. <laughs> okay. She's pleading, so, the, she's pleading um, the fifth. Guys, <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. According to my okay. knowledge, right? I think this conception was, was kind of popular at some point because um, Okay, Basotho women were very known for being respectful to, you know, the opposite gender, right? So it's very easy for us to be kokobeka to submit, right? And then whereas with, I think with, you know, South African women, they're very outspoken, they're very you know, they always go out of their way. They will always voice their opinion. It doesn't matter now. It doesn't Be feminist. Matter. You will hear what she has to say. You know what I'm saying? And there's no barrier. There is no um, cap. You know, they will say what side. they say, what they're feeling. It's a community for us. It's part of our culture. From generations ago, as a woman, um, right? And so the general meaning to that is that you got to take whatever that bullshit that, you know, life brings at you, you take it, you deal with it. As I was saying, I think you feel it's my last, um, and it was that, um, you know, we are very much, you know, whatever life brings at us, we know how to just deal with it without crying. That's always been um, our culture from generations ago, right? If we are going through some type of like um, BS, it's not appropriate of us to talk back or it's not really appropriate of us to kind of like voice how we feel about it. We follow and we move on and that's just how it's been so i think that has just been um conceived as no um just because we keep a lot of ish inside just because we're not really big on voicing out our opinions we are known to be like the respectful type of people so with the men it comes across as oh no okay cool no she doesn't talk back so you know i'm gonna go along with her and leave my you know, my South African woman like behind. So I think that's where it kind of stems from. All right. Does that, that answer your question, opinion. Lynn? Lynn? Uh, yes. Yeah, I'm here. Yes, it does. Uh, it very much does. Uh, essentially, what she's saying is Basutu women are the complete opposite of Tana women. Pretty much. There we go. I didn't want to say it because I'm dating one, but I didn't want to say it. <laughs> well, Len said it. He said it. <laughs> anyway, uh, before we let you go, man, can you clarify the, the thing about Lusutu maids? Or once they go back to Lusutu, they're never coming back. Ah. <sighs> Um, hey, you are on maid to do, duty one. today. <laughs> I'm just trying to clarify like, why they would never go back. Um, You're part of that, Lynn. You know what I'm talking about, one, right? one of the reasons why they would never come back, go back is because, um, you know, 
man, life is just so expensive. That's it. Number one. Um, number two, who fast the money? Like life that side is a complete opposite of life this side. Life this side is very laid back and very too comf- a bit too comfortable. So once you go that side, it's a bit of a culture shock. Um, so once she comes back, it's like, ah, I talked to her, like, I can what? You know? <laughs> and you know, Kishapu, I'm okay. Like, tell her, if I saw her, I'm going to my hang. I live back, I found my hang out, I will take. I found my hang out, I will take. You know? Because it's yeah. very, very chilled. Yeah. So I. Oh, okay. That, no. that is why. All right, no, it makes yeah. sense. No, cool, man. Anything else you want to ask, Lynn? Uh, no, I think uh, I, I just have to go to the back room and just experience more of it because I really want to go back. And <laughs> I'm so gutted that we were actually not able to go last year. Well, you guys should try coming next year because clearly this year, Rinky Lev Gap Year. Yeah, no, after lockdown, definitely, man. We got to, not just Lesotho, we want to go all over Africa, you know? Oh, that would yeah. be so cool. Yeah, that, that. All right. Uh, Morakane, thank you so much for joining us. Yes. Morakane. Thank you so much for having me, guys. It was an absolute honor. One more time. And say hi to all our five chillers in Lesotho, ne? Of course, I shall do that. I shall do that. We're I probably just... bigger in Lesotho than we are in SA per capita. <laughs> you think about it. Uh, you're probably right. <laughs> Thank you so much, love. Cheers. <laughs> all right, cheers. Bye. Bye. Damn, man, that, that network was horrible. That was dope, man. Very, very nice. I enjoyed that, man. It's, 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 I think what should be a challenge to us, actually, and, and, and to a lot of the chillers who are watching this, we should, we should start exploring the, the continent more. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, Ruben made, I've never been to Malawi. Uh, now I really want to go to Blantyre because yeah. from what he describes, like, it's a vibe, dog. It's a vibe. Um, yeah. I just missed a bit of the conversation you were having with uh, MS from Nairobi, but it also sounds like it's, it's, it's a vibe. And in as much as we've got this thing of not acknowledging each other as one, look at the conversations we've had, like Rhythm City. If you were talking about how much of a fan you are the other day, um, Scorpion King, Ruben mentioned it. He's in Malawi. Yeah. Um, yeah, the world is so becoming small, us. man. The world's becoming really, really small. But I think for Africa more especially, mm. uh, we've had these conversations before, be it on, on the podcast, just us chilling, is that we've got such great potential, but I, I don't know what is that one thing that is holding us back. Happy Africa Day, my friend. Where's your uh, clan from, your tribe? Where do they originate from? Okay, where Morakan is from. I'm a Kimusu dog. Oh, yeah, I got you, Musu, Tune. Yes, that's why I know so many stories about Sutu people. <laughs> I found out uh, some vendors come from DRC. Yes, I think we, we all, I don't know where we come from, but we came, like, there's probably Zulu and Kosa in Swahili, or Swahili in Zulu and Kosa, and there's Twana in Zulu, and like, it's, it's, we all come from one thing, but in movements, we sort of like separate it. Yes. Like Tonga and Venda are not that far apart in Zimbabwe cut thing, right? Mm, mm. Uh, Swahili, Libos, like, yeah, it's Lesotho, Botswana, Lesotho, Sito. It's, we just won. And I think we just need to be cognizant, celebrate that. And if we can stick together as a force, and Mama Gaddafi wanted Africa to one country use currency uh, at some point before he was killed. But if we can get to that level of knowing that, yo, together we are stronger, together we stand, instead of being 
separated and pointing at each other on some no you are muzulu you are more nigeria in, in, in. We're, probably, we're probably better we'll probably be much more stronger as a continent and show the rest of the world that we are the shit because if you look at it we actually are because we're taking over things that they started owning yep and that just like that ladies and gentlemen the spokesperson of podcast and chill has spoken <laughs> africa chill. africa uh, yeah. Where are we going to visit first? Let's start there. Dude, after speaking to Ruben, I want to go to Malawi, man. I'm, you know me, I'm all about good times, dog. I want to go where I can party and drink and have fun. Sounds like a vibe. Vendor's not a, vendor's not a, country, in, vendor's, vendor's not a country anymore, so we can't go there. <laughs> uh, but Malawi, definitely. I think, I think Malawi is a vibe. And when you spoke about the lake and like all the water, like beach type setups, I was like, I, I'm so good here. I'm so yeah. All right, so this has been Podcast and Chill. Big shout out to our African brothers and sisters. Even if you're not in the African content, you might be in Europe or America, Asia, especially in China. Take care of yourselves, man. We love you. Let's stay together. Keep it 100.